who said that I didn't have the best neighbours in the world. That part of the centre cab cost me £100 and we lost it in two videos before this and one of my neighbours found it just down the road and posted it back through the letterbox so what an absolute legend, shout out to you. But we've got some more work to do on the Bentley today. Whilst we've still got loads to do on the A45, we've still got loads to do on the Bentley but on the Bentley we now have a time frame of what we need to do by a certain time, does that make sense? <laughs> Retake. But now we actually have a time frame for the Bentley. We've got to get it ready by the 7th of August. The Bentley Continental is a GT car. That means we can only take it one place. Where all the rich folk with supercars go for their holidays. Monaco, of course. That's right, we're going to Monaco in the Bentley Continental GT. I feel like we just get rid of these cars too quick and I feel like it needs to gain a bit of personality and see if this thing can actually make it to Monaco and see if we can actually fit in with a £10,000 car over there. There's still loads to sort out, one of them including the wheels, we're going to lower it. There's panel gap to sort out, there's window tint to sort out. Missing trims, broken mirror caps, sticky door handles. Most of all, it was last serviced in 2015. So before we go anywhere, and one of those places is including Wheelmania to get some new alloys, we need to service this thing. So I want to prove to you guys that we can do it on the driveway. And when I say we, I mean me and Hannah. Everything we need to service the Bentley. 15 litres of 0W40 fully synthetic Miller's oil, oil filter, 12 spark plugs and two air filters and a hanna your job today is oil and filter you got that yeah first things first let's just get straight into it jack mode you wanna ride on my wave just because it's fun you wanna be in my space too close to the sun don't seem to care if it's safe well that makes two of us I'm so insane, so insane And you like it But you haven't seen anything yet Now you're just beginning your trip to regrets You might think you know me But soon you forget I'm too insane, too insane And you know it So number one, it's obviously really filthy under here But we're gonna sort that We're gonna sort that at the end of the video uh, first step, oh yeah that is hot, but let's remove the oil cap, nice, you know what you need to do next, oil sump, oil, oil sump, is that it, there it is, yeah, yeah. that's it, what that looks like about an 18 mil. drain yeah. that out, which brings me to the MA essential toolkit. 37 pieces. Let me tell you a little story. Back when I just first started doing mechanics and everything, my dad bought me a socket set. That socket set has lasted me right up until now. So it must have been way over 10 years. So I don't think you realise how valuable tools are. Which is why, instead of starting the generic YouTube merch, I, I want to do something which helps you guys as well. Which is why we've made the 37 piece toolkit. So inside this 37 pieces of pure goodness, all the tools are all black. We've got spanners all the way to eight mil to 19 mil and half inch sockets from eight mil all the way to 32 mil, which you don't often get in a starter socket set. And this is just all to encourage the people that wouldn't necessarily try and do stuff on their driveway, just get into it and start doing your own stuff on your own car on your own driveway. And all of this is going to be available at mattarmstrong.co.uk and the link is in the description box below. I'm going to be able to ship these fully worldwide. So let's create something here and inspire more and more people to get doing stuff on the driveway. Click the link in the description and go get some. So the oil is draining despite absolutely going all over the driveway, which we seem to have managed with a bit of uh, sand and um, cloths or so. These things happen. Next stop, oil filter. Right, new filter going on. Yeah. 
again. Good. So I have got an under tray for this, which cost me an arm and a leg, but I'm not going to put it on right now because in like the next video, which is more like the next day for me, I've got to have the bumper off to realign all panels and stuff anyway. So I'm not going to tighten bolts up to loosen them again anyway. So this will be fitted in the next video. Okay, so now this is where it gets serious. Two air filters, 12 spark plugs. So, let's take these air boxes off. I can already see one, two, three, four of the coil pads to get to the plug, so that's a good sign. Looks like we will have to remove the intake off though, into the intake, so we make sure nothing falls down there, because if something does fall down there, you know what happens. It explodes. Death. Okay, I've picked the wrong type of day or wrong position to film because my shadow is completely covering the whole engine. But intake manifold is off. Now we have access to all the spark plugs, all 12 of them, six on that side, obviously six on that side being W12. I'm going to do this because yeah. um, this would be an amazing time for you to get me back for the prank because you could absolutely ruin my engine, but it'd also be an expensive prank. So. I'm going to get on with this, we're going to let you put the oil back in, put the air filters back in and then bolt it all back together and then hopefully we'll be running nice and smooth and we can take it on the road ready. But let's get to it, let's go. Now, that got incredibly boring doing 12 spark plugs. But, let's put it all back together, let's get the inlet manifold back on. It's a metal gasket, a few of you are gonna say, oh, you can't reuse it, but I'm pretty sure you can, and we'll soon find out whether you can. Let's get this back together. together oh that was actual pure graft there's still a few things left to do and being that hannah you're supposed to be the one doing this um you better get doing so we've got a few plastics there which you need to get on pushes on in the middle so these are fake <laughs> yeah one at the top yep okay it needs oil 13 and a half litres. So 
we're going to start the engine now and then it's obviously we cannot leave without cleaning the engine bay with some of the fresh silly shine but oh right moment of truth i'm a bit scared because bit i've absolutely had the whole thing off so Are you sure? Are you ready? I, I think i'm ready i'm gonna stand a bit back oh yeah oh yeah i think that's sounding good any lights on the dash no from whatever, whatever oh, we can turn the jack mode off now though. Right, it's a good time to check for leaks, make sure everything's okay. I'm going to look around the car, make sure there's no air leaks, make sure there's no oil leaks, and then we'll go from there. It's got a misfire. I really don't want to have to take it all apart again, so I'm just going to let it ride out, see if it sorts itself out, just because it might be the new spark plugs. But I may have not connected something up right. This is just classic. Check back with you in a second, hopefully it's sorted itself. I've found the problem. Math sensor, I've disconnected it. It's underneath here. I've not connected up the math sensor, which is underneath there. So, if I can get my fingers in without having to take everything off again, we should be diddling. Right, math sensor is all connected up. One little thing like that is unplugged, it can affect the whole car. Hopefully, I haven't upset her too much because I know these sort of cars, once you unplug them, uh, unplug something, start it. It's going to confuse the whole thing, but fingers crossed, let's start it up. Second time look at, as they say. Right, so EPC light is still on, but hoping after a while, once it realised I've plugged in the math sensor, it might be a little bit better to me. Yes, EPC light has gone off. Traction control light has gone off. Sport mode, yes, that's what we want. Let's let it tick over for a bit. That is sounding better to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've smashed it. Time to clean it. through again looking nice and clean and it actually took less than half an hour so it's not a detailer's job but it is looking a lot better there's only one more thing left to do drive it so let's get this Bentley finished because we don't want to be going in the A45 you may find me annoying you may not like me you may find it weird that I wear my hat backwards but still get sun in my eyes but I am trying to do something positive here by Getting something out there that you guys can actually use, which is the 37-piece toolbox. All I'm trying to do is get more of you guys out on your driveway, fixing bits yourself, out on the tools, just like what I do myself. Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you in the next one. Peace out.